Ever since the release of Identity 5 in July 2018, the North build of the Survivor Persona has been completely useless in almost every mode. The problem with the North build is the final ability called Spectator, arguably one of the worst Persona abilities for the Survivors if not THE worst. Quite ironic for an ability that's all the way at the end. Almost a year ago, Hunters received a buff to the East Wing of their Persona build, changing the final ability from a very underwhelming perk to one that almost every Hunter uses in the meta today. So if Hunters got such a big buff to a formerly bad Persona ability, then why don't the survivors get a buff that changes the North build to a much more useful final ability? And how do we change it so that it's good? Today, I will be going over why this ability and its concept is so bad and how to fix it so that top leaderboard players will actually consider using it. I assume that most of you who clicked on this video already know why Spectator is bad. For the amount of points it takes to equip Spectator, it just doesn't do enough when compared to Tie Turner, Broken Windows, and Borrow Time. Or in simpler terms, it's not even close to a game changer like the other three final abilities. Its faster healing it provides does very little, and the extra ability such as having vision on damaged survivors and 10% movement speed is almost useless because you need to directly face the damaged person to get the speed bonus. And while survivor is moving, it's almost impossible to line it up. In conclusion, Spectator is just a worse and more expensive version of the Doctor trait. I feel like this ability shouldn't necessarily be deleted and should instead be moved to one of the branches on the side, just like Wanted Order was moved on the Hunter side. But both Wanted Order and Spectator are interesting niche abilities that will every once in a while be useful, but they don't deserve to be final abilities because spending 40 points in total to have it equipped is not worth it and it does not do enough. So now you're all wondering, how can this be buffed to a competitive tournament level? How can NetEase possibly buff a final ability that is all about healing, an option that isn't very often utilized or worth doing in a top tier match? In order to explain my idea on how to buff Spectator, let's take a little inspiration from Dead by Daylight and see what they have done with this idea of healing others. For those of you that play Dead by Daylight, you've probably heard about the survivor perk Anti-Hemorrhagic Syringe more commonly known as Just Syringe. For those of you that don't know what this perk does, allow me to read it out. The syringe causes more than one thing to happen, but the main takeaway of the syringe is this. Instantly heals the survivor for one use. Yeah, I think you guys know where I'm going with this. Obviously, there isn't just one way to buff a Persona ability, especially one that is a final ability and can be completely reworked if need be. But to me, it seems that the best way to make Spectator a worthwhile Persona perk that is worth 40 points is to allow one survivor to instantly heal another damaged survivor. Here's what I'm thinking. This new version of Spectator should be a one-time use, just like how Titan and Borrowed Time are one-time use abilities. Here's where it's slightly different though. You can choose when to use it versus when to normally heal, just like how there are separate buttons for when to remove Dreamer's Servant and when to heal. Spectator when used will instantly heal 50% of another survivor's health the same way Borrowed Time heals 50%, whether they are knocked down or only at half health. More specifically, I don't think this ability should be able to be used on yourself, only to others to stay true to the idea of needing two people minimum to heal and to just be a little bit more balanced. Personally, I think this would be an amazing buff and a perfect way to buff the North Persona build since it's all about healing and the final ability allows you to completely skip the healing wait time altogether. I even have some strategies on how this can be useful. The first strategy is probably the most obvious, which is being able to instantly heal someone back up after a chair rescue. This would mean that the rescuer would have to sacrifice Titaner if they're a rescuer or a broken windows if they're a kiter. But the payoff will be incredible. Unlike Titaner, this new spectator ability would allow the knockdown person to immediately get back up and get a second chance instead of delaying their damage state by 20 seconds just like Titaner. And because hunters in this game always camp, this would be a great use of the ability. This new buff to Spectator could even make it potentially compete with survivor builds that run Tide Turner. However, it wouldn't be a direct replacement for Tide Turner, since hunters like Violinus and Bomb Bomb will be able to hit multiple survivors at the same time before and after a heal. On the contrary, hunters like Blood Queen and Dream Witch would struggle against this new trait because they only have one way to attack and they will always have recovery. By adding this new buff to Spectator, it would indirectly nerf these two hunters that stormed the meta and are in serious need of a nerf. The second strategy involves Priestess and survivors that go through her global portal, also known as that yellow portal that goes across the map. After a person goes through the portal and gets knocked down, 
The nearby priestess can immediately heal them back up and the person can get back on the move with no time loss. I don't think this would be overpowered because hunters that can teleport across the map dominate the meta, the main three being Wu Chang, Blood Queen, and the Dream Witch Leech. Additionally, you can also have the teleport trait to counter this. Keep in mind that recently there has been a nerf to Priestess where the hunter can see the knockdown survivor that enters the portal for 10 seconds, so it's very unlikely the hunter will lose the survivor when they instantly get healed. It already takes a lot of strategy to get a chaired person through a global portal too, as it is. I'm sure as the game progresses and we get to experiment with this hypothetical idea, we would find more uses, but for now this is just that, a hypothetical idea that would really spice up Identity 5. As I mentioned earlier, there is no one right way to buff Spectator, but the point behind this video is to give attention to it so that we can at least give some sort of buff to it and at least get attention that it needs a buff. But in terms of making it very good for top tier, I think this is the way to go. For over the past year, it has been more of the same. It has always been the same survivor team, the same persona builds, the same hunter builds, and the same 6 maps in rank. So to see a massive change like this would inspire many people to experiment and would add a new breath of fresh air into rank. I think now it's finally time to wrap up this video. If you agree with my idea or just want any change, even if it's not mine and as long as it makes the north build usable, then please share this video to anyone you know. My hope is that if we get enough people to see this video and bring attention to a forgotten part of the survivor build, NetEase will buff the north build in some sort of way. I make these videos not because I make money off of them, but because I am passionate about the game and I want to see new changes that actually make an impact in the game. This game has come so far, but has always lacked at being fresh season after season, causing the game to feel instead more and more stale. But if we all bring attention to this, we can make an impact and have Spectator finally be buffed after two years of no worthwhile changes being made. Thank you to each and every one of you for listening. I look forward to reading your thoughts in the comments below. This has been Psyche, a top survivor player who's played the game since season 1, and I will see you all later.